with our um, show and share. And if yeah. any of you want to get up, because there are a lot of people that are signing up for this Soul Club, um, you can hear us back there, right? The gals that are in line back there, Pat, and those of you, can you hear us okay? Great. I want you, as you're standing in line, to see what we're doing. The are sure. Off. Oh, my gosh. Uh, do you know what these are great for? Who knows what they're really, really good for? They're the best practice, right, Linda, for free motion. Absolutely, you couldn't get a better piece of fabric than to take one of these panels for your free motion practice. You will become an expert. And I, how many have done that on a panel already? Yeah, I thought so. And he, show and tell? Sure. Oh, this is Debbie's. I love this. Any other questions? Yeah, what are you going to draw from the sewing machine? Oh, there we go. Ah, the biggest question of the day. This is from So Kind of Wonderful. Yeah, I sew. Um, and the background is, is, I don't know, 50 different colors of cream? Because I can. <laughs> you want me to hold it while you're yeah. telling about it? Um, and it? And it's true that to find the rainbow, um, it was really, thanks, Mom. To find the, I'm going to go grab the book real quick because there is a book. The pattern is in the book. Here's the pattern, and in order to make this quilt, you do um, need a ruler that is specific to the technique uh, written by the three sisters, Penny, uh, Jenny, pardon me, Helen, and Sherilyn. There are three sisters that make up the company called um, So Kind of Wonderful. This is um, Lynn Bodette, one of our staff members couldn't make it today and she said why don't you show this this was a thread painting class we had an educator come in uh, from philadelphia uh, remind me of her name again nicholas do you remember her name on the tip of our tongues because she's a great girl oh shoot anybody who was in the class remember yes and uh, so we have the panels. We would bring in the panels for the entire class. Everyone would get the same panel. And then there is, believe it or not, Mary's reverse bobbin technique in this quilt. Right. So you can come up and have a look. Uh, she's, she's very proud of her work, and we're proud of her. Joyce Hughes is her name, right? Sorry, Joyce, if you get a copy of our, soul cl our club one day and you see that I forgot your name. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> okay, so that, that's really fun. And then, just because we're getting it, oh, and I'm gonna back my So Kind of Wonderful with a, sh with a cuddle. Oh. I'm gonna clip. Okay, I'm clipping. Even though the clip doesn't work, I don't think on this one. Is that okay, the sound on that now? No? It will be? Okay, so this is a cuddle. Uh, cuddle fabric that um, I'm going to put on the back of the this one to make it nice and soft and plush, right? So that's uh, going to be uh, that quilt. I can't do regular cottons on the back of my quilts. I just don't do it. And there is no quilting police, so you can put flannel, you can put you can put knit, you can put whatever you want on the back of your quilts, you guys. So that's what I put on the back of mine. I do, I do put a batting in between because I'm always cold. <laughs> so, so yes, this is another project. This was a Quilt Week project by Nina McVeigh. Nina McVeigh came into our store, and I don't know if any of you were actually at that event. Um, the the fabrics that we gave for the kit were not these fabrics, but I made her project um, using Christmas fabrics, and. What's really fun is that if you come and look, I, it's, a, it's a work in progress because I did um, in the hoop embroidery machine quilting on this uh, project. So if you look at the border all the way around, I did with the uh, luminaire, I was able to piece the, the feather work and go on the corners because you have corner pieces, you have the long pieces that you can just add more to. And that's how I quilted this border. And you can, you can barely tell that it was quilted on. I have to come back and trim. You can tell, the reason you know it's not on the quilting machine is because at the end of every stem, when they were pieced together, there, there is some bobbin thread still that's on the back. But I can trim all that away. And um, there, like I said, there is no quilting police. So I'm going to finish the blocks where the faces are. 
I'm, I'm echoing somehow. I'm not sure why. And uh, so I just wanted to show that too. And then I've got my, my gingham, my plaid on the back, which is kind of fun too, for Christmas. So that'll be a table runner at some point because everything is a work in progress around here. This is something that Nicholas, my son, who was married this year in June, congratulations. And he's still married. Yay! <laughs> um, Sue Allen and Jane, I don't know if you know our teachers, our teaching du duet. Um, they've taught so many of our classes. Uh, they are, unfortunately, couldn't make it because they're both traveling. But they um, made this for Nikki and his future wife. They gave it to them before they left for France for the wedding. And he wanted us to show off. So not only did they make the project, but they made the case for the project, too. So that's kind of fun, too. Um, here is a, a pillow that they made. So front and back are very fun because look at the little checks, they're all pieced. That is all pieced together, the back, the back and the front. So a lot of work. And then, Mary, you want to help me carry the, uh, hold this? So I see the, let's look at the label first. The label says, Love and Joy for Amy and Nick from Jane and Sue Ellen, 2023. So they're married in June. And uh, this, is the pro this is what they gave them. It goes down. So let's take the top here. That's down. That's down. This is the top. Isn't that pretty? Nice. Is it on? Okay. We got it? Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, they were married in Toulouse, outside of Toulouse. What was the name? La Plaine. Plaine. Not La Plaine. Plaine. And 1600 uh, Catholic Church, very cool, and a really cool chateau they rented out for the... Penny wants to post up the poster. So Franco-American is the theme of this quilt, right? So there's a story behind this. My mother-in-law passed away last year, and one of the things we found was that she was a wannabe quilter and had all this fabric in her stash that nobody knew anything about. So for Christmas, I made all of my husband's siblings quilts using her fabric. And this is the one for my husband. Oh, Did you do the quilting also? Oh, wow. So the question was, did she do the quilting also? And she did do the quilting also. Wow. And if we could zoom in on some of that quilting, as I see it from the back, it's amazing on the back. The quilting is beautiful. Gorgeous. She has a long arm that she bought from the disease. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle is teaching a class on free November. We're going to have a free motion quilting class taught and by ruler. Michelle here yeah. and ruler yeah. and in November. So if any of you are interested in, in uh, gleaning from some of her knowledge towards your way, please come to that class. I think so. So, yeah, so anyway, the back is actually pretty cool too. If you want to look at the back, this is this is something that you can just look, and if you're if it gets dirty or your cat throws up on it like mine does, <laughs> you know, and you, you didn't have quite a chance. The the back looks pretty cool too. You don't even need that. That's true. This is actually using Qmatic, so I did cheat a little. <laughs> no, she's saying she used the robotics uh, for the Q24 long arm machine, and so it was an automated cooking system. But she's and being really modest because even to run the Qmatic is very difficult. So I mean, it's it's a learning curve, right? So she's learned the curve. But the there is flat. Yeah, there's more work in it too. Everything is stabilized with Jewelry. Awesome. Very, very beautiful. All right, who's next for Tom's help? Are you a question? Yeah. Okay, what's the question? How long did it take, take to make it start to finish, even the quilting? Um, um, forever. A day? Quilts in a day? No. <laughs> um, the first three went really fast, I have to say, because I was on a deadline to give them over Christmas. So I did the three first three quilts. In about four months. That size? 
this size. So I was on kind of a tear. And after doing three of them, the fourth one took me a lot longer to get through because it's like, not again. I've been there, done that. And then the quilting part is much more intense on this one than I did for the others because that's it, okay. It just you can do edge to edge, and that goes much faster. This. This one custom. took me, this is custom. In block by block, that means. Yeah, and actually each one of these patterns are individually placed and sized. And so this took me a couple months to do the quilting and piecing was... A long time. <laughs> no, piecing, piecing actually went fast. I, I took a break in between it because I was tired of the pattern. <laughs> So it probably it probably took me maybe a month to piece. It's it's super easy. Did you sleep? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I have other life. We're all four quilts the same. We're all four quilts the same. Every yeah, everybody has the same pattern. It may not be the same exact pieces and where it was, but it went much faster because. Um, and the first one I actually used a slightly different background fabric. It was um, an Amanda Murphy, kind of more directional. And I said, forget that, we'll just use the Kona, and then I don't need to worry about it. So I could actually twirl things around however I needed to do it. But once you get the, all the squares, then you can do mass production and just get it done. Yeah. It's a pretty easy pattern. So if you want to learn how to, to start a sweatshop, come down and <laughs> she knows how to do it. Yeah. To do it right. Yeah. Okay, next yeah. next we're going to do our yeah. come on up. Mary's coming up to show some fun stuff. <laughs> I want to be a little intimidated now. I no, 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 don't be intimidated. Show. Don't be intimidated now. We, we, how do we learn? We learn by trial and error. That's how we learn. Oh, it's the cats. Yeah, I was really surprised. I just went to the ladies' room, and this is hanging in the ladies' room. Oh, this is actually hanging in our ladies' room. Yes. Yeah. Sideways. 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 This is where the cats. This is the lunch box door pattern. This one's cats meow, and this is mixed mutts. So we have cats meow and mixed mutts. And it's um, yeah. Lunchbox Clothes is a company, and she's actually come here before, the owner of that company. So, so very nice. The, 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 I'm not sure why it's done. The, the thing I'm most proud of with it is that I was very intimidated about using my, my Lumineer to do the quilting, and Linda kept saying, Mary, you can do it, you can Yay! do it. <laughs> and so these two were both done in the hoop, edge to edge quilting. So, well, there's mistakes, but they, but they don't really show up. Nobody, don't fall in the can't see it back here. They're good, good. So, but. So it's not, it's not quilted traditionally style, it's in the hoop. In the hoop, using the air. Using the air. Okay, so yeah, that's the hardest part because they're not kits. You have to pick the colors yourself, and that could drive you crazy. <laughs> but she's still here to talk about. It. Oh, yeah, it's it's so good. So. And we are we pride ourselves on helping you choose color here at Lindsay. So if you need help with choosing color when you're doing a project like this, we definitely will help you out and find your colors for you. So. With you. And this is a tote I made, but the real reason I brought it is because of the stitching that I found on my Lumineer, which is number 27, <laughs> if you have a brother machine. And if you're a fan of Sashiko, which I am, it kind of simulates the, that stitch. So, you know, but I mean, otherwise it's your basic tote with some pockets in it and stuff, but I just, really fell in love with the stitching and thought I would, would share it. Very nice. Very nice. No, I'll get it. Who's next? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, why don't you come on up?
I'm going with people who raise their hand first. <laughs> I think we have, okay, Bobby, you're next. Okay, Bobby, you're next. Oh, my YouTube feed was full of these things this summer, but and I this is my first one. Um, this is this is piping cord, but you can just use clothesline from the hardware store or whatever, and you just start and you make a make a round center, and you zigzag round and round and round. And this is um, that's an embroidery design I found. And I had to edit it because it had mountains in it, and my lake does not have any mountains in it. It's you know, down the road there. But um, so I had a fun evening making this. And that's all there is to it. Is you just zigzag, you just zigzag. We have taught this class many times, and so the lady who helped swell and make the quilt and the pillow for my son Nicholas is the teacher of this class. So Jane. Jane teaches that class at our store here, and uh, that's wonderful. Thank you for showing that. That's really, really good. Uh, you got it, so you got it. Alright, alright. My friend Karen got me hooked on... Her friend Karen got her hooked on, I think what we have is a Kimberbell project, right? Kimberbell. Okay, Karen Tijan, you're uh, guilty. I broke my, I broke my, I broke my, um, close, cut the, Clothesline? Clothesline clips, whatever they are. This is supposed to go over here. They're on the floor there somewhere. But anyway, um, rather than put the lights in, because this goes in my dining room and I'm very rarely in my dining room, I put the crystals. And I love it. <laughs> and it was fun. So this is pretty well. We do teach one of our classes here very regularly. We just had one last weekend. It was for the Halloween theme. We have one in November for the Christmas theme also. So if you are going to dabble in embroidery and you want to do it on an entry level, uh, Kimberbell is the place for you to go. It's, it will provide an embroidery machine for you if you don't own one. So please come is that yours? and try out embroidery. Oh, it's still hers. Oh. Sure. Uh, Kimberbell. Who else is next? Um, Betsy, come on up. And then Linda, you're next. Oh, this is beautiful. We're going to need to post up on this CD. Well, everybody knows that I teach the men's or women's shirt class. And what I did differently on this one, I, of course, used my icon too. And on this one for the cuff fabric, I modified a decorative stitch. Um, most of the top of the line machines, you can either design a stitch or modify a stitch. And I modified this stitch. Um, but um, I used that fabric that I did to make the cuffs on the shirt. And we, um, we do sell this flannel here, you guys. So it oh. looks like suede and feels like suede. Yeah. Okay. Really? So, Take the class, take the shirt class, it'll be coming up, Muriel will reschedule it. Mm -hmm. so, this is one of our classes we do quite often, you guys, and everyone loves it, so definitely try out that class. I had bought this pen. Oh, sorry, you're with. Let me use your microphone. Oh, okay. I had bought the pen quite a while ago that had the all the different squares of the flowers on it, figuring sometime I would figure something to do with it, and then I got an idea from something that I saw in one of the many Facebook groups that I belong to, and they call it the half, um, half lot habit. And so I really like the idea of the jungles in the background and the fact that it looked, I didn't want a regular border that would stop it because I thought this kind of looks like it continues. So that's why I didn't put a, a border on it that had, or binding that had a different color. And that got hooked in terms of the back, I love sure. that. That big oh, 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 oh. That one I could probably do either way too. Why went to my own quilting? I quilt by check. So somebody else does it. <laughs> and uh, it's all serger stitches. This is all done, everything with my, uh, I feel, big rock ovation. So I did, was able to use the wave stitch. Board, a lot of flat lock, a lot of decorative threads, the eight weight and the 12 weight. I had all the fabric. 
uh, but I like yellows and of course and put in some dark. So pretty. And it was like a bag. Real, it was like a gorgeous, like a sampler. It was a real learning experience. Did you made this bag? I did. It's by a, a woman named Jennifer Sample who designs. Jennifer Sample. Yes, who designs her fabric. I saw her. Yeah, fabrics here too. You do it. Show me where they are. Oh, okay. Her okay. Fabric. Because this was her class, and I took. I bought the kit. And then um, I decided to take the class. I also did her table runner, that, and I took the class, and it's uh, online. It's like she's right there with you talking about color. I've never been really good with color. So I learned a lot by following her, but she, um, and it's all matchstick quilting. <coughs> I was going to say, and is it all the same color thread, too? Yeah. Okay, one color thread. Yeah. It almost looks like it's different colors of thread because of the fabric. It was, it was one long piece. And okay. then you did the side seam, so it was one. I had it sitting on my dining room table, so whenever I felt like doing some sewing, I did because it took a while to do them all. And the hard part was to be sure that you, they had to be parallel because you had seams, so you could not get off. So every couple rows, I would measure from the other seam to be sure that when I got to that seam, it was going to be straight. I was not going to start oh, to go off at any angle, so it took... Uh, it took quite a while and just um, my own line. I just put a pocket on this side. Beautiful line in Kim Jessica so, Everett. And it's look, these but they look yeah. like buttons, so yeah. they're but it's two appliques on the front and the back. So yeah. they're really cute shapes. And an interesting uh, pattern that you cut out, what you did is you pasted um, everything together and then you took a pattern and you cut it apart. And then you flipped the pattern pieces the other way. So when you would put them in, you got just they're going different directions. So very clever, really helped to take her class much more than just what the directions were not. So, so what you're saying is that you created a long strip mm -hmm. and then you cut a pattern out of that piece yeah. after you pulled it. Yeah. Oh and no, no, the pulled was after. You after. pieced them together first, so you had them. Okay. Then you cut it apart. Then you sewed it back together. And then you did the quilting on it. Okay. Yeah. So very, very good. Thank, thank you so much for that. Who's next? Uh, thread rack. <laughs> All right, big surprise, Mark. Uh, uh, these are the um, Kimberbell cuties, the table toppers that are monthly, and this is the October. And I, I, I've done all of them. They're just very addicting, and I can get one of these done in three days in spare time. Nice. Um, and all of it is the background quilting that is specific for Kimberbell. This is the most current one, right? Because it's, yes. it's the season for Halloween. That's right. So, yeah. Trick or treats. Yeah. And they're they're just really fun. So very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's next? Come on up. One tote for Christmas. Yeah. It's easy and it's cute. Very cute. And then this is a table runner. It's all um Machine embroidery. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Because the back is very pretty too. But wow, that is amazing. Thank you for sharing. How long did that take you? Um. To, oh, you know, a couple weeks. To, but you know, a little you just bit kept that and you didn't stop like you in there for a year or two in between all of that. Do you know whose pattern that is? Yeah, it's called, it's called um, we, love, we Love to Sew. We Love to Stitch, maybe. We Love to Stitch. I'll, do, I'll double check it in my phone to tell you. She'll be here next month at some yeah. club because she'll get that information for you. Okay. And uh, Arlene is next, and then we would be after her. Okay. Get ready, and whoever's next. Oh, I mean, come on in. I made the tote, wow. um, and that is made out of a um, petite jelly roll. Yes, I'm over here. Okay. It's made out of a petite jelly roll. And it's one long strip that you sew up the sides. I, it's, it's the colors that. Yeah. And then I have more, well, my purse and the lining. And I have um, the, okay. lining is beautiful too. the lining matches. The and lining then I matches. have um, um, I have a lot of pockets inside that I um, fill with lots of fun stuff. Well, 
they're also kind of quilted. They're made out of, they're pieced. And then, because I like Halloween, and I wanted to send my grandchildren stuff. So, what I've been doing for the past week is making, these are the OESD the newest ones, right? freestanding lace. Yeah, there's a pattern and you can you can attach them all with pieces in between. So I have that. And then we have spiders. Because my because my six year old grandchild child son will like spiders. <laughs> So I have a bunch of these that I'm going to send off to them. So she's and like she has a bunch of these she's sending off to her grandchildren. Okay, and then these are the same bats that Dennis was making. These are the sparkly vinyl bats from OESD, and they're black on one side, silver on the other. And you've got, this is the bigger one. We do have OESD coming to the store. Can someone please yeah. give me one of the brochures so that if anybody wants to have, we have Kelly Rushing coming back, choose Joy, I believe is the name of the event. November 2nd. Oh, no. Are you signed up on it? Yeah. My calendar. Yeah. <laughs> so there's actually four of them. So they're they were really fun to make. They're cute. And they'll have to figure out how to hang them. So did, did you use the um, OESD Luxe Vinyl? She said, did you use the OESD Sparkle Vinyl? It comes yeah, in yeah. a tube. So she used the yeah. OESD Sparkle Vinyl that comes in a tube. I and could, the question was the question in the room. Yeah, I could there. get maybe three out of the two. Okay. I found out that I had to squish them up in order to leave a lot of vinyl at the bottom. I had to figure out how to place them to make the most use of the vinyl. So. Very pretty. I'm going to show you as we can. And these kind of, these are, have, are, these can bend on the sides. Make them seem 3D if you, because you could yeah. attach them to, I, and can I show, oh, okay. do you mind just showing them to that little camera that's right there? And I'll go get for those and show also. To give you an idea of what you can do with 3D bats and freestanding lace. I actually do know how to sew. I could make this little also. This is a Kimberbell project. Um, and we are doing both 3D, so we're making two of the bats are actually made on the uh, water soluble stabilizer, so they're 3D, and the rest are either sparkly vinyl, flat vinyl, felt, or um, this is a black sparkle vinyl as well. So and it's it's quite fun. This was a Kimberbell project as well. So this is what you could do with some of those bats. You could put it on another project or on a jean jacket on the shoulders of a jean jacket. Oh. Wouldn't that be fun for someone? Yeah, yeah, and I, I forgot the freestanding lace. Mine. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. This was this is gorgeous. Project and Cutting. Beautiful. Project and Cuttings of Gloria. In between, each, in between each little stripe, is a seven eighths inch piece of fabric, and you needed two for each one. And then the pieces had to be cut from three inches down to one inch, going down by quarter inch each time. And there was no spare fabric. Oh, wow. And they called this a beginner quilt. <laughs> Yay! Oh, so pretty. And I see the um, I see the quilting is a uh, evenly spaced one inch wave of quilting. And wow. was that done on a long arm? It was done on a long arm. Done I on also quilt by check. She quilts by check, and I think I know the person who got yeah. the check. Yeah. <laughs> and she bought her machine from us. Yeah. Yeah. She's got one more to see this. Yes. Maybe a class that's going to be. This taught. might be a class. So if we have a, a an applause at the end, you have a question? Oh, sorry. The, the quilt. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Should we try the quilt again, real quick? Because the quilt wasn't seen by everyone. Oh, no, no, you're fine. Stand, would you mind standing? Because I'm not going to be able to. I'm not that tall. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. I have a little. 
Oh gosh, why is this doing that? This is the closest I'll ever come to a Barjoa quilt. Beautiful. Beautiful. Did you see better that time? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, little anecdote. Gloria, in another life, was a math teacher. Can you Which talk to us for math? <laughs> How big is that? It's about 36 inches, about, maybe not quite, about 24, 22. There's a ruler. There's a ruler right here. Are you measuring? I am measuring. The question was how big is this square? And who is measuring? Oh, on the gray mat, right in front of the gray mat. 27. 27, so three quarters of a yard. Yeah, I know math too. I'm very confident. <laughs> I'm not sure I can teach it. Those are nice. Thank you very much. Any, any more bottle you missed? No. no, you're fine. Okay, anyone else? Uh, any other questions? Yeah, why do you get a job from the sewing machine? Oh, ah, the biggest question of the day. That is a spinning wheel. And on the spinning wheel, are all the names of people who are entered to win the sewing machines. So our line at some what are the Lindsay's Club 2024. We are at our first first kickoff of our clubs. And, and this is Melissa. And this is Melissa. Right behind this, Melissa's coming in to give away a sewing machine from Eversome. And Charlotte. And yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. That's right. And she's our rep from Brewer, which we love. Yay. Absolutely. We love Brewer. We love Brewer. So, and Tracy, what do we have right in front of you? We have a, uh, okay, so this is a spin the wheel, it's on, which Nicholas has put all of the names from Madison in, and then he's put all of our Soul Club members' names, or emails, names and emails, right? And names. Names. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> See, there they are. And, and, uh, that's just some of them. Should I come that, 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 or this? Oh, oh, okay. And then I just want to show the machine. Oh, show the machine, please. Yeah. So here, here's the machine. So we're on Facebook Live, actually. Right. So the Charlotte is the one we're going to give away right now. And then after that, we're going to give away uh, two Burnett 33s. Two Burnett 33s. Yeah. Yeah. All but the way over here. The Charlotte is what we're doing now. Okay, and we're gonna leave it and say the name. Oh, yeah. Melissa's gonna say the name of the winner when the winner comes up. And ready? Okay. It's a little no pressure. It'd be nice to be able to see Okay, congratulations to Nancy. Nancy Petrovac. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a million bells. Congratulations, Nancy. Congratulations. Charlotte from Yay! Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're a friend of Nancy's and you're watching this, or if you find it, please give let us know. And oh, oh, otherwise, oh, exactly. we're calling you. Okay. We but have, it's always fun when they're like, we have all your friends active mode too. Okay. I think it might be better for me. Okay, so now we're going to do a Burnett 33. Which is feeling about the ability to get out of it? <laughs> I don't know. You might not be alone. Other people might be feeling that too. Sue! Sue Wiggins! Sue Wiggins! I know Sue Wiggins. Is she? No, I don't think she's here. Okay. But she's one of our, definitely one of our consumers. Yay, Sue! Yay! Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and the last machine. And the last Burnett 33 that we're giving away is going to go to me. Lisa Welch. Lisa. Lisa Welch. Congratulations, Lisa. So if, you, if you're seeing this, go ahead and call us, or we will call you guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.
and thanks so much for watching. This is our kickoff for our Soap Club 24, and we are very excited to be here. Uh, this was a free one, but we are uh, doing this every month, and we're going to have a lot of uh, free prizes and things like that. The last Tuesday of every month from 1 to 3 p.m. Right.